Yeah, I mean, I think everyone at this point is uh, really excited about their own signing classes as we are here. Feel really, really uh, pleased and blessed to go through this process with a group of 18 uh, freshmen that are coming in that signed today at Central Connecticut that will continue their academic and, and football playing careers here. So we're really excited about that. Uh, I believe we've done a great job in the state of Connecticut again. Um, you know, what, one thing I said when I took this job is that we're going to do a great job in the state of Connecticut and make sure we get the best and brightest from the state. And I think we've certainly done that, at, certainly at our level with UConn taking their guys and, and uh, you know, Central getting our guys. And I think we've done a great job. We've gotten some size and some speed and some athleticism from the state of Connecticut. And most of all, we've gotten some wonderful young people and we've met some great families along the way and this process of all 18 guys and their families has just been terrific and you know we're looking forward to having a wild season and really getting central connecticut going in the right direction so one of the main focuses for us in recruiting had been to bolster our offensive line you know that group this from this past season 2015 it graduated three starters guys that have played a significant amount of football so i think we've done that we've gotten some real good quality players some great young men that are willing to work hard for us and quarterback position each and every year and started with Carlton Aiken who was uh, a guy we've recruited all along he was one of our first visits and and we had a great we I think we had a great connection with Carlton and his family and we're really excited that he's coming here he's a, he's a great dual threat quarterback that's going to help us out tremendously along with Jason Bailey another quarterback out of Cornwall New York who is a phenomenal player uh, we, we needed some speed at receiver. We needed a little bit of size. I think we've, uh, we've certainly addressed those concerns in recruiting this year. Um, we, we really, really, on defense, we needed some help at the inside linebacker position. You know, we certainly did that early on in recruiting. We, we got Freddie Allen um, and we got uh, Michon Hunt. Both guys are going to be tremendous players for us. They're great young men, willing to work hard. And then obviously we went back to the secondary. We needed some speed and some guys who could cover. We went to a familiar place, you know, West Catholic High School. You know, Rob and Brandon Holloman, both guys from West Catholic, and got Craig Jones out of there. It was an outstanding cover guy. And then just went too, not too far down the road, Ansonia High School, and picked up Tajik Bagley and Xavier Bass, two guys that, that are uh, tremendous, tremendous football players, great athletes. Both guys can play either side of the ball. So those, that was our main focus this year in recruiting. And you'll hear our assistant coaches who, our assistants did a wonderful job recruiting this year. They did a great job getting out there, beating the bushes, bringing quality people to campus, and doing a great job of closing the deal. So I appreciate everything our assistants have done. And you'll see those guys, obviously, later on in this video, talk a little bit about their position groups. Carlton Aiken, quarterback from Paulsboro, New Jersey. Uh, he was a kid that that has been committed since December. What we liked about him from start to finish: uh, number one, he's a dual threat quarterback, can run, can throw. He's tough, uh, throws very well on the run. The one thing that really stood out as well was the fact that. Uh, he will stare down the barrel of the gun and, and take the hit uh, in order to complete complete the pass. Um, has a lot of room to, to grow physically. Is another thing we like about him. Um, shows from everything we've seen from him, excellent leadership qualities. Uh, kid that we're we're very happy to have with us. Jason Bailey, uh, quarterback from Cornwall, New York. Uh, very, very bright. Uh, another dual threat uh, type quarterback. Uh, physical runner. Um, a basketball player. Very, very, very good thrower on the run. Um, does a lot of positive things. Guy that um, we had targeted in the spring. Uh, didn't see much of him in the summer, but um, towards the end of the recruiting process, we were very, very fortunate to get him. Um, like I said, strong basketball player, good athlete. He already is 215 pounds right now, so um, we think we've got a, a really good prospect with him. And uh, like I said, very intelligent kid, uh, understands the game, very much like Carlton has a, a very high football IQ.
Xavier Bass is a athlete slash wide receiver slash DB from Harding High School in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Uh, super excited about him. He's about 6'1", 190 pounds. Uh, absolutely dominated the level of play that uh, in his league. Um, whether he had the ball in his hands as a running back, kick returner, wide receiver, he was a dynamic athlete. He was a threat to take it the distance every time he touched the football. Uh, very excited to bring his playmaking ability into the fold and think he's going to you know, do a lot of good things with the ball his hands. Christian Hayward is a six foot four, 215 pound X receiver, hailing from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, went to Mount St. Joseph High School, played a very high level of football. Uh, for a guy his size, he has a very, very good body control, uh, great ability to go get the football in the air. He enjoys going up contested to catch the football against smaller DBs and even larger DBs. Going to give us an immediate threat in the red zone, and he also has very good footwork, very good top speed for somebody at his size who's coming to play at our level. Emmanuel Scott is a six foot, 180 pound receiver from Brooksville, Florida. I uh, went to Central High School. It's about 30 minutes north of Tampa. Uh, Manny's going to come in and bring a dynamic presence to our receiving core. He's very, very explosive. Gets off the ball with great speed. Puts pressure on the defense vertically. Uh, also has the quickness and moves with, ball, with the ball in his hand to be able to make defenders miss and then burst to take the ball the distance to the end zone. Uh, very good tracking the ball in the air. Highly competitive kid who's going to come up here from the Sunshine State and he should be an impact player in our conference. Yeah. Arthur Gilmore, welcome to Central Connecticut State University football. Can't wait to get you on our football field. Arthur, you're going to bring a big physical presence to us in the pass game and the run game. Okay, and for all you fans out here at Central Connecticut, you're going to see a new tight end. It's going to be a big size kid. He's about six foot four. Right now, he's about 235. Hopefully, we'll get him a little bit heavier. Right, Arthur? But again, he's going to bring a new physicality. And the good thing about it, he's got attitude. Welcome to Central Connecticut State University, Arthur Gilmore. Justin Appleby, offensive lineman, Trumbull High School right here in Connecticut. Played center as a junior, tackle as a senior. Uh, loved his uh, durability, versatility as an offensive lineman and comes from a, you know, a good, good tradition of offensive lineman from Trumbull High School. Look forward to working with him and, and getting him in here into the program. Javon Brown, Norwich Free Academy, Connecticut product. Uh, Love Javon at camp, came, came to our camp in the summer, watched him play O-line, D-line, and he just dominated the competition. Uh, loved him from you know, the day I saw him on film. You see him just mauling people, you know, kill, you know, running around and pulling and, and uh, you know, on power and stuff like that. And you know, love to see uh, his tenacity in the trenches for us here in Blue Devil Country. Checking the core, New Hampton Prep in New Hampshire from Brattleboro, Vermont. Um, as as a myself being a 6'5", 270 pound guy makes me look like a small child next to him. Massive, massive human being. If you watch his film, pulls around. Uh, if he puts one hand on you, you're going flying. Uh, it's going to be playing into your offensive line for us at, at the guard position and, and you know play tackle at New Hampton Prep. We'll bring him inside and looking forward to him to paving the way in the next few years. Danny Kaloshi, right down the road, Hartford Public, right in Hartford, uh, Connecticut product. Very, very physical offensive lineman, played center at Hartford Public, played tackle uh, his sophomore and junior year. Very physical, he's gonna fight you to the end. Uh, is known for his physicalness in, in the trenches and looking forward to, to working with him the next few years you know, as, as he gets here at Central Connecticut. Trey Lincoln, Central High School, Spring Hill, Florida. Uh, another tackle, uh, massive human being who moves his feet well. If you, feet well. If you watch his film, he's just he's just pushing guys ten yards down the field, moving his feet in pass protection. Uh, expect you know very big things from Trey as he gets up here in Connecticut. 
Anthony Marucci from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, St. Thomas Aquinas product, uh, one of the best high school programs in the country, won two state championships in Florida. Not the biggest guy, but probably one of the feistiest, meanest, angriest guys in the football field. Most likely will be playing interior offensive line force and looking forward to him to bring in, you know, some of that championship flavor up here to Connecticut. Connor Mignon, Redding, Connecticut, Joe Barlow High School. Connor's been on, on, on our you know, sites, you know, Target for a while, came to one of our football games, saw him at another football game, uh, team that we played against. And you know, ever since I met Connor, uh, you know, liked him, great, great personality. His film, you'll see him playing tackle, right tackle, moving his feet in pass protection, going out on screens, pancaking people. Uh, love the versatility that Connor brings and, and look forward to working with him. Okay, the first uh, corner that I'm going to talk about defensive back is uh, Tajik Bagley uh, from, from Ansonia. Uh, traditional power in Connecticut. Uh, he was a two-way starter for him. Um, he played running back and we're going to use him on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, he's a man-to-man -man cover guy. He always went against uh, the other team's best uh, receiver. Um, you know, so we're excited about what he's going to bring. He's a physical kid. Uh, you know, we had him at camp and we're able to evaluate him there. And uh, we like the kid. We like him as uh, as a human being too. He's a really uh, easy kid to get along with, and and uh, you know, excited to to be involved in the, the Central Connecticut. All right, uh, Craig Jones is. Uh, is the next uh, uh, defensive back that we'll be uh, talking about. He's uh, a kid out of Philly, out of West Catholic, uh, uh, same school that gave us uh, both Rob, uh, you know, both of the Holloman brothers, Rob and Brandon. So we've had some success with them before. Uh, we've gone back. He was at our camp. He was one of the most impressive uh, DBs that we had there. Uh, he was coming off an injury and still was uh, performed well enough that we offered him out of camp so he's been a guy that we've uh, uh, had on our radar for quite a long time uh, when you watch him on film Craig is uh, he's he's again another physical guy but he's also uh, you see him play safety uh, he was a great uh, wide receiver for their program uh, and he was also a punt returner so uh, he's a kid that should be uh, physically prepared to come in and challenge for a starting spot All right, Mishan Hunt, Capital Prep, uh, 6'2", 220 kid, student class president or their equivalency of. Pretty excited to have him. He was like an all-state guy. We had him at camp. We liked him. Uh, you know, in his senior film was dynamite. He's just knocking people out all over the place, showing great speed. You know, definitely think he's going to come in and make an impact for us at our mic because he's pretty good off the edge. He's a long kid. On top of the fact of him being a great football player, uh, great kid, great family, dad's fantastic. So this is definitely one of those guys that make the program better. All right, Freddie Allen uh, from Marshfield, uh, a little over 6'1", 235 right now. Uh, Coach DeGravio went all the way back to like 1966 to find this kid. Total throwback, meat stick, smash face guy. Going to be a huge addition to us because he's, he's battle ready right now. And uh, I mean, he had 68 uh, TFLs his junior year, around 50 his senior year, only playing about half the games because they were destroying people up there. All right, Brandon DeSalt is excited. We watched this kid uh, earlier. It didn't make any sense. He's tall. He's good looking. He punts over 40 yards a kick. He kicks the ball to the back of the end zone. He plays wide receiver, quarterback, DB. He drives the bus to games. The kid's a freak show, and uh, we're pretty excited to have him. This is one of those guys that uh, doesn't make sense in the business. He has every tool he possibly could have, even to play in the next level if he develops. So he's expected to come in and do some things pretty quickly to make our kicking game uh, that much better.